Okay, we are rolling. Hello. In this series of videos, what I want to do is share some value with my audience here on YouTube and other places by doing some short readings from books that have really had an impact on me. And today's reading is coming from the book The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill. And this reading will be from the chapter talking about the golden rule. And let's find my spot here. Here we go. Napoleon Hill talking about the golden rule in business. For more than 4,000 years, people have been preaching the golden rule as a suitable rule of con conduct among people. But unfortunately, the world has accepted the letter while totally missing the spirit of this universal injunction. We have accepted the golden rule philosophy merely as a sound rule of ethical conduct, but we have failed to understand the law upon which it is based. I have heard the golden rule quoted scores of times, but I do not recall having ever heard an explanation of the law upon which it is based, and not until recent years did I understand that law from which I am led to believe that those who quoted it did not understand it either. The golden rule means substantially to do unto others as you would wish them to do unto you if your positions were reversed. But why? What is the real reason for this kindly consideration of others? The real reason is this. There is an eternal law through which the operation of which we reap that which we sow. When you select the rule of conduct by which you guide yourself in your transactions with others, you will be fair and just very likely if you know that you are setting into motion by that selection a power that will run its course for wealth or woe in the lives of others, returning finally to help or to hinder you according to its nature. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. It is your privilege to, to deal unjustly with others. But if you understand the law upon which the golden rule is based, you must know that your unjust dealings will ultimately come home to roost. So yes, one reason why we want to practice the golden rule in our affairs is that what we do to others eventually does come back to us. Law of karma, as we understand it in other traditions. So yes, do good unto others because if you practice goodness to others, Eventually, that energy will come back home to you. Practice an unjust conduct with others, then eventually that energy will also come back to you and will likely wreck you. So, golden rule. Something that you can do to help others and by helping others, also help yourself. It's Ralph signing out. Thanks for dropping by. We'll add more content in future updates. Bye-bye.